price. So in the last class we were discussing about the average values and RMS values, root mean square values. Let us see one more problem on these two values together. And also we introduce some more new terminology which come across, which we see in this AC analysis. Right. So first try to see that what will be the time period for this given waveform. Irrespective of the value, whether we determine average value or RMS value. Okay. So see that what will be the time period? Capital T. Yes, sir. How much is this? How much is the time period? See that? What? 4 or 5. 4 or 5. 5, sir. 5. 5. T is equal to 5. So, as we call after 5, again same pattern is repeating. So, T is equal to 5. But between 0 to 5, we will not have a single straight line or single kind of pattern. Several patterns are there. So, try to observe. Let me highlight some sections that, so see, this is one straight line, means constant line. So, this is one uh, increasing line, linear line, and again one decreasing line. So, let me show different color. So, one decreasing line, and again suddenly jumped, and it remains staying at. Zero. So, these many variations are there in single waveform. So, what we need to do is that we have to examine each of the corresponding thing, its mathematical equation. So, how we determine, tell me. So, now I will write in this way directly, one should understand by this time. So, I of t is equal to, in this way, so I of t is equal to, so let me write very clearly. So, I have to see 0 to 1, it is 5 volts, 5 amperes, constant, that is simply 5. How long this is constant? From 0 is less than t one, is less sir. than 1, up to 1. Then, from 1 onwards, see that we have a line as like this. And what are its corresponding coordinates? Try to look for that, 1 comma 5. And 2 comma 7. And quickly find its corresponding line equation. And say that I of t minus 1 is equal to. So, 7 minus 5 is 2. Divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. Into t minus. <coughs> sorry, here it, is, it should be 5 I hope. Y minus y1, right? So, this is what x1, y1, this one, is what sir. x2, y2. So, i of t minus 5 is equal to m into t minus, <coughs> so in slope y into, uh, slope m into, so x minus x1. 1, one. very good. Right. So, simplify this equation and tell me how much is its corresponding equation. I of t is equal to 2t plus 3, sir. 2t plus 3. Very good. So, now I will write this equation directly over here. That is 2t plus 3. For what range of this is varied? This is varied. 0 less than 10, t less than 2, sir. 1 to 2, right? So, yes, sir. I can say 1 is less than t is less than 2. Next is, look for another line, this corresponding thing line, whose corresponding co uh, coordinates are 2 comma 7 and one more is 4 comma minus 5, 4 comma minus 5. So, for such a line, again, find the corresponding equation, <coughs> which we find that 2 comma 7. 2 comma 7 and so 4 comma minus 5. This line corresponding equation, what we will get? Y minus Y1. This will be the now X1, Y1. 
this will be x2 y2 so y minus y1 is equal to m that is minus y minus 7 minus 12 right so just try to find these corresponding equations in this way we will get i of t is equal to minus 60 plus 19 so this is valid over what interval of time so 2 is less than sorry 2 is less than t is less than up to 4 right so 4 then what about 4 to 5 <coughs> so 4 is less awesome. than t is less than 5 is equal to this. so now i got the given waveform completely in the mathematical representation so we can find whatever value we need so first let me proceed in finding the average value. So it is current. So let, let me write I A V G average value of the current. How we find 1 by t integral over 0 to t. So I of t dt. So before writing this expression, try to observe is there any similarity between positive cycle and negative cycle? No similarity at all. These are dissimilar things. See? Negative cycle is small triangle, but this positive cycle is one square and one kind of triangle with square and this triangle. No similarity between positive and negative. So, it is not a symmetric waveform. Okay. So, now <coughs> let us find this average value. So, 1 by 4 integral over 0 to t. It is 0 to 4, but I don't have directly 0 to not 4, it is 5. So, t is 5, right? So, 1 by 5 integral over 0 to 5. So, but 0 to 5, I don't have single equation. So, I have to split my integration from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 4 and 4 to 5. So, like that, let us say that 0 to 1. How much is I of t? 0 to 1, 5 dt plus 1 to 2. How much is I of t? 2t plus 3 dt plus 2 to 4. How much is I of t? Minus 6t plus 9 dt plus 4 to 5 is 0. So, it is 0. So, this is what the average value. So, tell me how much we will get once we evaluate this. So, check it whether everyone getting same value or not. Let us try 0 to 1 plus 2t plus 3. Limits are 1 to 2. Next plus the other thing that is minus 6 t plus 9. Then this is 2 to 4. 9 to 5. 2 to 4. So this entire integration I got as minus 7. This entire integrations I got as minus 7. Anybody got same value? 5t, 2t plus 3 is correct. Then minus 60 plus 9. I hope I am correct. So I got minus 7, but majority portion is positive so that means somewhere it is some mistake is there sir akada plus 19 got sir 9 is sir yeah yeah that's what i am looking for this is 19 <coughs> this is not 9 it is 19 okay so that's what i am looking for. actually majority portion is positive but how we will get average value to be negative so this is not yeah 13 i got 13 is that correct 
13. This entire integration values are 13. So then 13 divided by 5 is the MPS average current. Is that correct? Everyone check once. In the same way, if I want RMS value, what we will do? So I'll write once again square root of 1 by t integral over 0 to t i square of t dt. <coughs> now what we do is that square root of square root of 1 by 5 integral over 0 to 1 pi square dt plus 1 to 2 2t plus 3 whole square dt plus what else 2 to 4 minus 60 plus 19 square dt plus let me write the 0 part also 4 to 5 0 square dt. This is the expression for RMS value. Now I already have all the things I just I will add square for the integrations. So 2t plus 3 whole square and is that previous value correct? Is this 13? Everyone got 13? Sir, I got 3 sir value. About three. Yes, sir. So, can somebody verify these things? Anyone got thirteen? Is there anyone? So we got this as two sixty two by three. How much is the final answer of this? So, square root of answer divided by 5. 4.179. Very good. 4.179 amperes. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. So, now once you get this average value and RMS, there will be one more, some more in interesting factors. Just let me introduce only definitions and its values. One is form factor form factor which is usually represented as f f form factor which is defined as any rms value to rms value ratio between rms value to average value average value next is peak factor peak factor peak factor pf or sometimes it can also be called as crest factor crest factor so cf also anyhow so this is the <coughs> peak value to ratio between peak value to rms value peak value to rms value okay so now just for the above waveform let us calculate these two so what is the form factor here for the above waveform so how much is the rms value 4 point or let me write here 4.179 4.179 divided by how much is the average value 13 by 5 so how much is the total value check it so 2.6 sir. Yeah. So in this 13 way, by 5, 2.6 sir. 2.6 sir. 13 by 5, 2.6 sir. Okay, okay. So orally I got this as 1.607 value. And what about the peak factor for this same waveform? How much is the peak value? It may be positive peak or negative peak, but highest peak value. See, highest value in this waveform is the 7. 7 sir. This negative side only 5. So, the peak value is 7. So, 7 divided by RMS value 4.179.
so this is what the peak 1.67 point 1.675 sir okay okay so this is 1.675 right so again so just to let me introduce for the other kind of sinusoidal waveform also sinusoidal waveform which we seen in the last session so if we have i told you that if we have voltage as like this vm sin omega t now you should be in a position to tell me what is the average value so 2 vm by pi what about the rms value vm by root 2 now with these values for this kind of waveform what will be the form factor tell me vm by root 2 divided by 2 vm by pi pi how much we will get vm vm will get cancel out so this will come as just check it all values so <coughs> So 1 by root 2 will be there in the numerator part and in the denominator part pi by 2 will be there. So together you will get 1.11 is that correct check it 1.11 sir correct sir okay so like that we will get for a sinusoidal voltage the form factor is 1.11 which is very important for any sinusoidal waveform you will get 1.11 what about peak factor so peak value is vm divided by rms value so how much is the rms value vm by root 2 so how much we will get root 2 so 1.11 1.41 sir. 1.41 sir. So 1.414. These are the fixed values for this kind of waveforms. Okay. 